Hey guys, I'm Jotty. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are coming back, then welcome back. In this video, I created this fun and bright, and I would say kind of different look using products that are pretty much new to my channel. I haven't featured it here yet. One of them being, da -da 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 -da. and this is a totally unbiased try on and review of this cause I know it's been out for a while and the hype was up there, but now it's kind of not, but it still is. So you're going to get to see how I play around with this to create this look. I'm also trying a new foundation, which is right over here. And it's new to me. I know it came out just a little bit ago it hasn't been out for a really long time but i'm trying this out so i'm trying a good amount of new products and i created this look if you're wondering about this highlight stay tuned it is a really good dupe for the jacqueline hill one so if you'd like to see how i put this look together keep watching all right i don't think anyone will truly understand how dry my skin is right now let me see if i can zoom in and show you guys how bad it is right now it's like ashy like ashy yeah, my skin is really dry. I have forgotten to wet my sponge, so I needed to go and do that. The first thing we're gonna do is add some moisture to the skin, cause girl, it actually like feels tight and weird and tight and weird. So we are going to use the Glow Ahead Face Oil by Wonder Beauty. I'm going to add this to my skin because uh, and I'm gonna press it in really hard and I think I'm gonna go back in and get some more because this is just, uh, it feels so much better with an oil. Cause I'm not used to my face being this dry but these winter months, my skin always goes through it. Like it's hard to get it to be pretty balanced. Anyway, so the important part is we are now feeling better. It's looking so much better, okay? Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy, in my tummy. Let's move on. Why did I even say that? Boom, now I'm really excited cause I'm gonna be trying a few new products and they're like new, new at least to me the first item i am excited to try is this charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless foundation i got mine in the shade 7.5 neutral can we open you up i hope it is my shade because if it isn't i'm gonna be pretty pissed let's do some pumping pump 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 prime hello today today <laughs> no yes maybe Anytime soon. There we go. Well, that's looser than I thought it would be. Okay, well, I'm going to start off with just like a pump and a half and see how that works out. Okay, it's not too much lighter than my skin. I think I can pull this off if I go light-handed. Let's see. The reason why I didn't jump on top of this foundation the moment it launched is because I feel like the moment things launch, everyone absolutely loves it, everyone needs to have it. And so with this foundation, it's kind of like, I knew so many people were like, you need it, you need it, it's amazing, you're gonna love it. And that's fine, but I wanted to wait and see after so many people really tried it, tried it for over a week, whether or not they liked it. And to be quite frank, so many people were like, this foundation is their new staple. So I figured why not? I wanna try it. Okay, so just that looking at it, it did balance out my skin. It feels really nice. It's not super tacky or anything like that. It does add it to the luminosity from the oil. So I don't know, it looks, it looks good in terms of that. I wish I would have gone one shade darker. This is 7.5, I should have gotten an eight. Other than that though, it looks really good. It doesn't look heavy. Like I have dark spots here because I'm going through some acne issues, but it covered it up without really covering it up. You know what I mean? It looks pretty good, I think. The next item I'm trying for the first time is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I don't know who I was watching, but I was definitely watching someone here on YouTube and I saw her mention this. She tried it on her, like, on her video and you could see the difference even before she applied concealer and I was like... Maybe I need that too. And the truth is I'm not a big color corrector type of person and the Dragon Beauty product that we received in BoxyCharm, it was nice to try something different, but clearly I'm really heavy handed with a lot of things. So it's really easy for me to butcher 
like my under eyes with that kind of product so I wanted to dive in and try something like this. I'm gonna go in with a brush. I'm gonna use this one which is by Crown and I am just going to tap in here. It is kind of like a color corrector because I'm tan and this actually looks like it'll look really good under my eyes. It's that salmon-y type of shade. So what I want to do is I'm going to just do one eye, right? We're gonna blend this out. We're gonna apply the concealer, blend that out, and then set it and see what it looks like, you know, once this eye is done versus this one because I myself wanna see the difference. I'm just gonna blend that out just a little bit. It kind of smells a little funny. Like chemically, like a, like paint, it's weird. All right, then I'm gonna go in with a basic concealer. This is the Infallible Full Wear, which drugstore wise, it is one of my favorites. I'm only gonna apply a little bit because the whole point of that under eye brightener is so that it'll automatically brighten your under eyes and like lighten up your under eye circles and then you don't really have to over apply under the eye so anyone that if this actually works this would be great for anyone that gets a lot of creasing under the eye because then you don't have to really build up your concealer you just do the under eye brightener a little bit of concealer powder set it and you should be good so let's see i want to see what this looks like i mean i already see how much brighter my concealer looks with the becca product underneath all right, I'm liking this. I have to set it because just, I always have to set my under eyes. You know what? I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in the shade two. The reason why I'm going to use this product is because it is the only setting powder that I have that's pressed. Everything else that I have is a loose powder. I am a loose powder type of gal but I don't wanna overdo it under the eyes. I just kinda wanna see how good it could look on its own, like without baking and like overdoing it. Okay, so I'm automatically seeing a difference in this area here, cause over here it's like darker and you can see the little puffiness, right? Well, over here it's nice. It's it's clearly very different, so I'm liking that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move on and do this side and then we'll move on with the program. That Becca product is actually really good. For my skin, I'm gonna use the W7. This is a makeup and glow bronzing base. And crazy enough, I've had this for a while. The thing about it is that I ended up getting it because it's supposed to be like this high, like a dupe for a high-end brand. I can't think of it right now. Is it white? No, not YSL. Is it the Chanel Soleil Blue ZB2 Twat? Something like that. I said Twat. It's supposed to be a dupe. I was not willing to pay the price for that because I don't cream contour all the time or cream bronze or anything like that, but I have it. I've had it for a little bit already, so I figured why not? I've had it, no, not a little bit. I've had it for some time now. So I figured why not use it? Let me go into my stash and grab some stuff that I already own and see whether or not I still like them. And this is one of those products that is really nice. The only thing is that you have to use the right brush for it. You don't have to have this one by BoxyCharm, um, although it is in add-ons today, so make sure you snag it if you're interested for the whole kit, it's like 12 bucks. But you do have to have the right brush because it needs to be fluffy, it needs to be a thick brush because if it's not, girl, mm -mm, it can get messy really quickly. And I honestly think that this foundation shade is actually really good for me. Now really looking at it, it's a good shade. For blush, I don't have anything new that I absolutely love, so I'm gonna dive in to this product over here, which I've had for quite some time. Judge me if you want to, but it's been a few years, but it's so good. Uh, City Color B Matte Blush. This one is in Guava. I've had it probably two years. I know, I should dump it already, but it's, it's really nice, and it's affordable. I know, so it's, if it's affordable, why don't you replace it? I know, I said judge me, I'm giving you permission. You see, like I just tapped into it, tapped out, and I was able to do both cheeks, girl. This is really pigmented, silly colors, and they're so affordable. And then I'm just gonna dust some on my nose because some people say don't do that, but no, I like it. Don't I look like I'm really flushed right now? I know. So for highlight, I'm going to use this product over here. This is the Makeup Forever Star Lit powder this one is an iridescent pearl let me tell you something i did not buy i uh the jaclyn hill highlighters not one not the whole set i didn't buy anything nothing 
in the past whenever Jacqueline would say this is the best highlighter that is the best highlighter you need this in your life I would run out and get it because Jacqueline Hill said it. so and I love me some Jacqueline but it's just like every single time something new pops up and she's promoting it it is the best the best the best and so I saw her highlighters and I'm looking at them and I'm like well I can get that like flashy in your face effect with a product that she said a few years ago, dude, you need to get it, you need to get it. It's like the most amazing thing, blah, 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 blah. I can definitely get that same effect. So I honestly didn't even go on the website when her stuff launched and bothered looking for it because I mean, I was just not interested in dishing more money for another, yet another product she says is amazing when I already have a few of the ones that she says are amazing. And this, in fact, even though it is for the eyes, you can use it anywhere on your face, but this, in fact, really is blinding like does that not kind of look like what Jaclyn Hill has as a part of her collection again I'm not shading I love her but honestly it's one of those things where how many highlighters do we have do we really need to run out and invest in more when we have stuff in our collection that will do the same thing look how in the face it is right I'm gonna have to really blend this out but I wanted to show you guys like you can totally have it be really intense like the ones that she's selling or you can blend it out but you can totally build it up and that is essentially what they're doing with her collection it's being built up boom and I already had it in my collection and I didn't have to spend $50 on a brand new launch $50 and you're a new brand I don't know so bing! I wouldn't suggest you use a sponge I would initially blend it out with a finger and then you can totally like build it up. I'm gonna fill in my brows with this brow pomade. It is the, the I guess the liquid version by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly so you won't really see it. There's nothing special about filling out my brows. I pretty much do the same thing except I'm not using a pencil. So I'm just gonna brush through them and I'll be right back. If you ever see me with my brows like this, honestly, it's because I'm using a pomade or a brow mascara. Personally, I've been really enjoying the messy, bushy brow kind of look. So that's what I was purposely going for. Now we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and prime them and I'll be right back. I hope you guys are really ready to have some fun now because I am featuring a brand new eyeshadow palette here on my channel. This. I know, I know, I got one. You guys have no idea. And as a matter of fact, I got one, but I didn't get it for myself. If you're an avid viewer of my channel, then you'll know that I always mention a boxy preview. My friend Isabel, she runs an Instagram account. I'll make sure I put her handle up here, but I'll also link her down below. And she, I like, I was, we were texting back and forth and she goes, I got one, I got one. And I was like, girl, I am still waiting. It was hours in and I was still waiting. I said, the struggle is real. I just have not been able to get one. And then next thing you know, she texts me and goes, girl, I got you one. She ended up getting me one of these palettes, which I'm really grateful for. So we're going to dive in, play around with this palette. I haven't can you guys see? I haven't even touched it yet. No swatching. I haven't done anything. The outside is everything. So Shane Dawson, you did your thing. And Jeffree Star, you guys just did your thing. The, the exterior is so different. But then on the inside, the color story is very different too. Because I would have never thought that all these colors would kind of like be put together into a palette the way... It has been done in this one. I personally am truly going to enjoy this palette and this is going to be like a go-to for me. I'm grabbing brushes as I'm talking. And that is another reason why I waited this long to actually film. I'm, I'm going to add on screen the palette so you guys see what colors I'm diving into. Right now I'm diving into Diet Root Beer. And that is another reason why I wanted to wait to play around with this palette. I feel like when things are overly hyped, sometimes our opinion, our views, our experience can be swayed, not by the creator, but by everyone else doing reviews. And so I was seeing reviews where it was like, oh my God, this is amazing. It blends well, it works well. I love the color concept. And then I was hearing other people say, well, no, it's a little chalky, it's a little powdery. I don't like it. So, and I think that when it comes to makeup and pretty much everything else, 
it is very personal. Everyone's gonna have their own feedback and their own opinion. And I did not want to sit here, watch all these reviews, then open up my palette, play around with it. You know, have a biased opinion. I wanted to have my own experience. And I know, then you guys are like, well, why would you even watch the reviews? Because I was impatient and I really wanted to like have my palette. So I kind of wanted to see how creative people can get with the actual shades and the color concepts with this palette. That's That was really it. And people got really creative and created beautiful looks. However, you know, you can't, I'm human. You can't help it, but kind of retain some of the feelings and or opinions that people have. And I just did not want to do it to myself or to you guys to not be honest and be swayed in a certain direction or be somewhere in between so i waited until the hype was almost as low as it could possibly get because i mean it's shane dawson and jeffree star there's no way this will be out and gone and forever like this is one of those things that everyone's going to remember but i did want to wait until not everyone was releasing a video on the collection parts of the collection the eyeshadow palette blah 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 at the same time because there were hundreds of videos going out daily and it was a bit much in my opinion all right, I feel like I wanna go bright, so I'm gonna go in with Flaming Hot. I'm gonna pat the shade all over the lid. And then I'll blend it out. This is a beautiful shade for Christmas, by the way. It really is. I'm gonna blend the edges out, and then I'll continue to build the color up. Add a little more on the lower portion of the lid. I wanna darken the outer corner a little bit, so I am going to dive in to Not A Fact. And I'm going to tap that into the outer corner just a little bit, build up the color and maybe blend it out a little bit. I'm gonna use a clean brush to blend the two shades together. I like that, that looks really pretty. Now I'm gonna blend the outer edge so that I can get that cat eye effect that I like. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. Let me get the other eye done and ready to go so we can move on to lashes and the under eye area. The eyes are looking so good right now. So um, I'm going to line my waterline. I'm going to use the Esquito liner. I've been using this for quite a while. And I know a few of you guys have uh, wrote in the comments section asking what eyeliner is it. It's that one. I'm sorry. I never got back to you guys. Keep it real. I never did get back to you guys. But yes, it is the Esquito in the color black. They have a black one. They have a brown one. This one's black. Where's my brush? I just had you here. You were just here. No, for real, you were just here. Where the hell is the brush? This is actually really funny. So the lash glue I always use is the Esquito Companion, but then the lashes I'm going to use are Big City Nights, also by Esquito. While my lash glue is getting tacky so that I can actually apply my lashes, I'm going to grab a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna dive back into Not A Fact and I'm going to dust some just on the bottom portion. That way it'll wrap around from the bottom over to the outer section of the eyes and it ties the look completely together. My lashes are still in the process of drying. However, we're gonna move on. I am just gonna go in and apply some mascara on the bottom portion of my eyes. You guys know when I set my skin, I set my skin before I apply my lip product. It's just the way I do it. I know it's weird. So I am going to dive in with this blue tansy and rose hip mist. It is supposed to soothe, balance, and hydrate. It is not a makeup setting spray that's gonna help with the longevity of your makeup. However, I love the way it smells and I just kind of want everything kind of to sit beautifully and just melt into my skin. So that's what we're gonna do. So here is the completed look overall. I really liked everything that I tried for the first time. The foundation it looks really good and I'm glad I got it in the shade that I did at first. I was questioning it, but once you bronze and everything, it looks really good. So I'm gonna keep this shade. The Becca product for under the eyes, I absolutely love. I cannot believe that it's been out on the market and I had no idea how well it worked. That's because I'm lazy and I didn't feel like looking into it, but I randomly saw it in a video and I was like, okay, I need to have that. So that's wonderful. Lip products, you guys know I already said a beauty vault. You guys need to check them out. They have an amazing formula, beautiful shades. The eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna tell you this. I can see where people are saying, okay, well, some of the eyeshadow formulas seem dry. I see that. 
However, Jeffree Star is known very well for having some of his formulas be pure pigment and I feel like at least the Cheeto one, what is it? Cheeto? Cheeto? Is it called Cheeto? Is it called Cheeto? No, it's not Cheeto. Flaming Hot was a little on the drier side, but it was all this pigmentation. So I wouldn't be surprised if that is just pure pigment. But overall, I'm really happy with the palette. I think they did an amazing job putting it together. And then if you're feeling some type of way about not getting your hands on the Jaclyn Hill product, if you have something similar to this, I mean, I showed you guys on my skin how wonderful it looks. So, I mean, if you weren't able to get that one or you skipped on it for whatever reason, then this is a good alternative. All right, guys, that is a wrap up for this video. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes out of your day with me. Make sure you check the description box where I am going to link pretty much all this information down there for you. Make sure you follow me on Instagram if you have not already. It is a good place to stay on top of everything that I'm doing as well as chit chat on a personal level and all that good stuff because I go on my stories a lot. I do lives and all that good stuff. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Make sure you click that logo down below and subscribe like now. And if you haven't signed up for the giveaway that is closing very, very, very soon, I am going to link that video in the description box as well as you'll find a little tabby up here that you can just click and watch the video. I'll also suggest it at the end of this video, make sure you guys sign up for the giveaway. There will be two gift card winners. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.